Hi Chris here and welcome to my X98 Plus video. I'm just going to test some games out on this video here and what I also did just before recently was update the tablet to the latest BIOS to hopefully see if it was going to fix some of those slowness laggy kind of issues that I was having with a tablet running kind of slow. So this is the update tool here. If you run that as administrator and you get all these all this gibberish show up here, that's because I don't have Chinese installed so the characters aren't showing there properly. Uh, you can click yes there and in here you need to key in your model number once you do that It will actually let you update the BIOS. Just make sure you've got 80% battery if you are going to be doing this and The screen looks like this so it just tells you that you know You've been updated to the latest BIOS and has it made any difference to performance? Well, no, unfortunately not the GPU scores remain the same. I think it's still throttling uh, Not throttling, but they've done something to the actual the BIOS inside the BIOS, I think they've just limited the power levels and the turbo levels. So the animation you can see still has that lag. It still feels a little slow. It's hard to tell really, but I think Windows performance has improved slightly. But yeah, it's disappointing to see. Now temperatures on the the GPU remain unchanged, so it gets as hot as 72 degrees when you're gaming. I just did a gaming test before. Um, I know that's only showing 13 minutes there, but I've had that going for an hour or so, but accidentally closed it. But it doesn't really go past around 72, 74 degrees, lower mid 70s there, which is perfectly fine. So I think they have limited those clocks on the GPU and maybe the turbos there to keep the temperatures down. Better life is still good. So I'm just going to run a few games now in Steam and we'll see how those run. Here's a look now here at Civilization 5. Now I'm running this on the lowest settings here because I think this will be just a lot easier for the GPU to be able to handle this and of course running in DirectX 9 again easier because DirectX 10 and 11 mode is more demanding so I'm just going to run with these settings and just see how it runs Next up, Counter-Strike Global Offensive. I'm running on the lower settings here on 720p. I could probably lower that to something like 800 times 600, but I'll see how this runs first with these settings. <laughs> Dust 2 map. And already quite a large amount of lag there. I intentionally chose here a server that's got a lot of players on there. So worst case scenario really. Okay, 40 frames per second. Last that long at all. Well we'll see how long it lasts. Where are you from? Yeah, two seconds, there we go. <laughs> that wasn't long at all. frames per second, 25 because there's really no one else on the screen. Just myself. And did again. Ah, I can't shoot at all. So set it to 4x3 just like the screen. 800 times 600. Okay, so frame rate has actually improved there, but unfortunately it's just a tiny little box on the screen because it's not scaling up very well. For some reason the Intel graphics scaling is not working. 
But that's a little smooth as you can see. by 768 on the lowest settings. I guess he's quite laggy there. There's a lot of players on the server as well, which is definitely not helping with the frame rate. So just from that quick test that I ran there, you can see that the performance is pretty abysmal when it comes to gaming. I would not be buying this tablet if you want to game. I will look at something more like the Teclas X9 8 Pro that at least has the Atom X5Z8500. It's got dual channel RAM and it performs a lot better. Okay, you get less battery life, but if you're going to game, that's probably the one you want to go for. If you want to keep with the 4x3 9.7 inch retina screen there. Okay, so just before I end the video, I wanted to quickly show you just a bit of performance here and testing some videos out within YouTube in Edge. And I do have Task Manager running to show you our RAM and CPU usage here. So you can see the CPUs are around about 24% at the moment. Memory is half used. I've got a couple of things running in the background, my HW Info, uh, Steam's there, of course, that I just had running before. So I'm just going to now test out the Zoolander 2 trailer and how that performs. He was once the world's most famous male model. Even his looks were household names. La Tigra, Magnum, and of course... See, that's running fine at the moment. That was a long, long... Uh, it's actually only in 720p, so I really need to change that 1080p at least. Old? LeMay? We were a joke out there. I guess fashion's changed. Leave the biggest supermodel. So full screen, that's... Are you seems to be running all right. Or female model. All is all. I think he's asking, do you have a hot dog or a bun? <laughs> now, I'm going to test out a 4K She's clip. Not. I trust her. Sony 4K demo. This is probably going to kill it. Or kill my internet connection. Hopefully it can keep up. Just exit Steam. And for apps at the moment, just to keep the performance up. So, not too sure what's going on there. My network's not doing anything.
Wake up. Open your eyes. This is Sony 4K. Beyond four times the resolution. So this is running now in 4K. 1080. And you can see it's. Uh, it will take you to. Okay, it's playing it, but it's definitely taking up quite a bit of CPU there. I try that in full screen. Seems like my network connection's not actually keeping up with it. Just let it buffer for a little bit. And try again. That's not too bad, but you can see there it's not perfect. Oh, there we go. With fresh revelations. A few problems there, but I think it's down to my network connection as well. They're not helping out. And the task manager is showing there the CPU is definitely struggling now to keep up. RAM usage is actually okay there. Still at just 59%. So there we go, there's a bit of gaming on there. Thank you for watching the video. Uh, hopefully see you on the channel with more up and coming videos on Chinese tablets. Bye for now.